Hey, it's Angela from the blog Angela Marie Made. Today I'm sharing a one year review of our painted tile floor. One year ago, I shared how to paint tile floor when we painted our outdated pink tile floor on our back porch, which we use as our workshop. I'll link that video below in the description box. Ever since sharing that video though, I've received countless questions about the durability of our painted tile floor and how it's holding up. Well, after one year, I'm ready to give a totally honest review. Also, real quick, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more fun DIY videos. Before I get into the full review, there are some important factors to cover first. This will be a Rust-Oleum floor tile paint review since I used Rust-Oleum floor paint and top coat for interior floors in Windsor Gray. Although there are different types and brands of floor tile paint that can be used as I explained in my original video. We only used one coat of the Rust-Oleum top coat over the painted floor tile because we were short on time when doing the project. Rust-Oleum only requires one coat of the top coat, but it does recommend using a second coat for extra durability. Looking back, I wish we had made the time for that second coat. Let's talk about the traffic level on our painted tile floors. The painted tile floor in our workshop is exposed to an excessive amount of floor traffic more than your average interior room. So we really put this floor paint tile to the test over this past year. Our workshop is used for all of our DIY furniture builds, which means there's always large amounts of wood piled on the floor, and our DIY mobile workbench with heavy duty caster wheels is constantly being moved around the room. Also, the room is used for outdoor toy storage for our son, and it connects to both our shed and our back door to our backyard. So it's constantly getting a lot of foot traffic with wet, dirty shoes and also puppy paw prints from our dog. <laughs> Again, because this room is our workshop, we don't clean it as often or as well as we would an interior room. We basically just sweep it to keep it clean. For this review, we took the time to give the painted tile a deep clean to really assess the condition of it. I started by sweeping the dirt up and then vacuuming the tile. After that, we used a mild cleaner mixed with water to mop the floor tile. This is the recommended cleaning directions directly from Rust-Oleum. Does painting floor tiles last? To answer the big question, does painting floor tiles last? The short answer is yes, it does, even with a lot of floor traffic, but there are definitely some issues to consider. Overall, when standing and looking at the room as a whole, the painted floor tile looks good and you can't see any major problems. But if you look closer, there are several small nicks, scratches, and chips. There is definitely noticeable wear and tear in the high traffic areas of the tile, especially along the edges of the tile. In the lower traffic areas of the room, the painted tile looks really good with no chipping. Would I paint tile floor again? Yes, I would, depending on a few factors. Overall, here's my recommendation for when to paint tile floor. For a higher traffic room, I think painting tile floor is a great short-term solution for ugly, outdated flooring. It's definitely not as durable as real tile or other types of flooring, so that's why I recommend it as a short-term solution. For a low traffic room, it can be a good longer-term solution for updating your flooring, but keep in mind it will still be subject to chipping over time because it's still paint. Painting our tile floor last year cost us only about $100, and it was a really easy project to do. If we had used real tile, it would have cost a lot more in material and it would have been really labor intensive for us to install. And if we had hired out the tile install, it would have cost a lot more. So cost savings and the simplicity of this project are definitely two of the biggest pros for painting ugly outdated tile floor. If I were to paint my tile floor again with a Rust-Oleum paint, I would definitely use a second coat of the top coat as I said previously maybe even a third coat. Also, I would make sure to stay off of the painted floor for a full seven days after applying the top coat. We didn't use the room much during those first seven days. However, the flooring was more prone to chipping and even light foot traffic caused a few chips. 
I hope this one year paint it tell for review has been helpful. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions and please subscribe to my channel for more fun DIY and home decor videos. Thank you so much for watching.